if you if you compare the mina region mina region as a whole and then i'll come back to gcc region mina region if you look at the size it is roughly if you look at the population roughly the size of us so that the the kind of and you have to look at the demographic profile they they have got they will reap the benefits of demographic dividends what you call whereas europe and other places are have a aging population mina has a young population so the kind of economic growth and the productivity that we will see over the next decade or 20 years will be immense mina is growing at still at 4 to 5% now we are talking in the world where 2% growth is considered very good where mina for the last years and the future will have growth in excess to 4 to 5% so the kind of gdp growth the kind of opportunities you will have in the mina will definitely be outperforming the global averages if you look at the uh, let's say you are talking about you are talking about the fixed income fund the kind of the kind of alpha that you can generate in the mina whereas you can have a country with a with a investment grade rating whereas you have some of the high yield bonds also so that kind of coupons and the yields that are available and the kind of excess returns that you can generate in the mina region i think if if you are good enough uh, in terms of trading and taking the right opportunities i think i think that kind of returns especially on the fixed income side you can you can make good yields the profitability growth is good for the corporate sector and the corporates are the 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 if you look at the money supply growth in the gcc region is in probably in double digits growth in the money supply and the corporate profitability growth of the region of the mina the, it is it is coming back because we saw during the arab spring the kind of economic downturn the kind of uh, lowering of the growth estimates i think it is coming back again and i think investors can definitely look mina for a long term potential that it is a diversified sort of an economy economy and within the gcc region i think there is there is a lot of opportunities within various sectors and within different pockets of growth ranging from real estate sector to petrochemical industry and definitely the region benefits from the oil prices definitely the inflation is very benign which is if you look at kuwait it has been in the range of 3 to 4% and the same case with the gcc so inflation is good the economic growth has been good so overall overall the economic scenario has been sort of positive the region especially the gcc has a major surplus at hand which they can utilize in order to continue with their economic growth so that kind of model will help any investor to sort of set up base and and most of the countries are opening up their economies whether it's setting up financial centers in order to attract foreign banks and foreign financial institutions whether to opening up of the non oil sector whether privatizing even some of the energy sector some of the um, some of the downstream and upstream uh, projects of the energy sector there is a lot of lot of um, scope for the international players as well as private players to come and sort of set up base in the mina region in gcc and especially kuwait as well